welcome to the show. Uh, what do you remember from the very first meeting with Paul Stanley and Gemma? The first what? The first meeting with Paul and They me. were assholes. Really? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Really, really, for the very first time. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. You know, because because Gene on the phone was an asshole. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) You know, I felt like I was talking to the student body of some major college. Yeah. You know, (laughs) uh, do you have long hair? Are you thin? (laughs) Do you look good? Are you good looking? Are you cute? Yeah. Do you dress well? Do you mind? I mean, Jesus Christ, man! But it interests me because I never was interviewed like that. I was like, did interview. And so when I met them, I just got back from England for my first wife, a honeymoon, and I. Can I tell you just, just uh, sure. were you in, in England for playing years to play with Elton yes. John? Yeah. You were? Well, I was hoping to, but it never worked out. But we talked about it later on when he came to see me. All right, I heard about it. What a cool guy. Sure. But I loved his music. Yeah, I heard him play in a club called The Speakeasy. That's what he's doing. It's a little bit funny. Right. <laughs> <laughs> was, oh. Yeah, Nigel Olsen on John. Which so was pretty hard to replace. It could have been you instead of Nigel Olsen. Well, I don't know. I was hoping maybe he'd die or so, or I'd, get, <laughs> I'd hang around every day, but it didn't work. And then when I came back, though, I had some great clothes. I had some real cool velvet, you know, all the English clothes. My hair was all pretty fun. It looked like a white Jimi Hendrix. And, I, and I, <laughs> I passed these guys up who were wearing, like, you know, uh, that show, the mod show, what was it called? Uh, Laughing. You know, they had these flower like hippie shirts on. And they were standing in front, I didn't even know who they were. Yeah. And then I asked the secretary, I said, Do you know what Gene Simmons <laughs> I said, Those guys back then, they're telling me, Do I have a dress? Do I do this one? Yeah. And they kind of, Paul kind of liked it though. We hit, me and Paul hit off real good in the beginning. He wanted to hire me kind of on the spot. And then Gene said, Let's play. And we played, it was a disaster. We had to play on some other schmucks drum. Yeah. And I wasn't really used to their sound, kind of. Okay. They weren't used to my my style. We lost a new experience, that kind of music. Like <laughs> yeah, and then we then all of a sudden we said, yeah, we were kind of disappointed because we really wanted to play together. We knew there was something there. Yeah. Because they heard me in a club. They came down to hear me in a club, and I was wearing a pink satin scarf, and a <laughs> red and white boot, flowered shirt, pink pants, and white capillos, and I'm back there. <laughs> <laughs> and there's these like three uh, 40-year-old guys in front of me playing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, they felt crazy. They were crazy. What was the first song you played with? I think we got one of theirs, one of theirs some Wicked Lester shit or something. But when we got into like something, Paul said, let's try this. It was Strutter. That was it. That was the second rehearsal. I couldn't get into the Wicked Lester stuff, really. And all of a sudden, when I did it, I went, yeah, all right. Yeah. And we all just knew, and we said, okay, let's do it. Well, the Wicked Lester stuff was extremely different from Chelsea. Oh, God, yeah, extremely different than Chelsea. You know, Chelsea was a pretty straightforward uh, influence by everyone, Richie Haven growing stuff. So we had John Cale from the Velvet Underground. We had Larry Fallon who did Astro Weeks. I mean, we had some great people on Chelsea. We had some real fucking pros. But I don't know. You know? So, uh, Those were the days, I guess. All right. Do you remember anything from the very first meeting with Ace really when he came in? I loved him. I thought he was the... I'd never seen anything like it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen anything <laughs> like it. About Ace, uh, I think when you meet Ace, he's one of a kind. Yeah, I've actually met Ace in March this year in London. Yeah, he's, a, he's original. Yeah, he's That's original. why I like Ace. I, I, I asked him what's quite disappointed of him. Gene and Paul hated him when they first saw him. They thought he was some kind of Chinese guy from another world. <laughs> and they didn't really want him in the band. I dug him right away. And I remember I, I pushed for him, and finally they realized he was great at the time. Yeah, and you had to audition. <laughs> you auditioned a lot of Oh, we went to like 60 before. guys. Oh, man, hell. And finally, we, we got Ace. And I think it was meant to be. That's the way, you know, that's the way life is. I believe it goes around, it comes around. We, whatever goes around definitely comes around. Rock and Roll All Night brings you interviews, reviews, concerts, music, and more. So for more Rock and Roll All Night content, click subscribe.